servicing another man. It sounds so appropriate. <laughs> Like you're servicing a car, you know? Well, you know what he was servicing. <laughs> he was servicing a body part. Polishing his chrome. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the Rainbow Reels with Panos. I'm at. We are working to episode 5 of Fellow Travelers. Yes. The last episode was. <laughs> what was it? I was trying to find the word. What is the word you're looking for? Explosive? Um, no. It wasn't explosive. I thought the polygraph scene was explosive. Anyway, in the 50s, we saw Hawkins do the polygraph. Yes. We also saw Christmas. It was Christmas. Uh, they exchanged gifts. And it does look like Hawk wants to move away from um, Timmy because he wants to commit to Lucy to further his alibi. Yeah. Alibi. Although but, someone said in the comments, which was like, okay, that makes also sense, that <clears throat> he was saying goodbye to Timmy. To be prepared for preparation for the polygraph if he fails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Very fair. Uh, And then in the 80s, fast forward, we see Tim having a seizure at the end and being admitted to hospital. So, let's dive right in. Let's go. Let's go. Who? Laughlin, Laughlin. You need to see a doctor? For Christ's sake. Maybe because he's drunk? Like, you, you're asking for a person, like, why would she think... Stop it, is that him? Oh, no. Is that him? You shouldn't be here. Is that him? Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> Leonard Smith hasn't been home the last two nights. I'm guessing he's on a bender. You seen him? Threw him out of here last night. Looks like a crackdown. Be careful. I'm always careful. Mr. Bulletproof. Mm-hmm. Always careful, but then goes to a public toilet. Oh, look who we have here. Look who we have here. What was his name? Leonard? He's the brother, no? That uh, confirms our suspicion. Yeah. Leonard likes a little dirty. Oh, he better not be a cop. He better not be a cop. Oh, no cop. It is interesting how you're seeing these two love stories. Uh Uh-oh, the red light. Oh. Oh no, this is so bad. No. No, Leonard is there. Leonard! As if, as if they have nothing better to do. Right? <sighs> no, babe, run! Come on! <gasps> He's leaving no. them behind! Oh. This is, is crazy! The level of disappointment is unreal. I mean, I guess you're scared in the moment, like you you want to save your own skin, but search three precinct houses yes. before I find him. Thanks, Frank. We need to get our hands on the arrest record. Let's see what I can do. Damn, Hawk, the guardian angel, who would have thought. But imagine they would have bumped into each other. Uh, Maybe they have already, you know? Here. Wipe your face. Damn. I love how he he is lecturing him, but it's like, babe, you were in the exact (laughs) same spot five minutes ago. Okay. He's going home to Timmy, not to Lucy. And we like to see that. Lucy was at her friends and her car wouldn't start. She's in her home in a taxi and had to Just tell him the truth, no? Is it that is it that complicated? Gene mm. wants me to sit with her and hang. Sounds like you would go around and tell everybody. Being grilled rather than doing the grilling. But then again, he did say it once, I think episode two or three, he said loose lips, sink ships. 
and Hawk is just uber careful, you know? So fair enough, fair enough. Your Honor, I stand before you accused of being sweet. <laughs> Can they not stay like this? Free, frozen in time. Forever? I'm disappointed with Marcus. Private Shine's work with us fighting communists and subversives required these requests. Custom boots? <laughs> we commend Mr. Shine for his tireless service, Senator. However, a fur-lined coat, custom boots? I think Tron will fall on his sword for his boyfriend. Harry does that every night. <laughs> it's like everybody knows? But no one openly says it. How long have you known Mr. Shine? Oh. I would say about two years. We all have friends whom we love. I do. What is he trying to do? I don't need anyone's special favors. I, I, I didn't need Mr. Roy Cohn to get into Harvard, did I? Mm, but you needed Mr. Cohn to get those boots. <laughs> And the fur lined coat. And codes. the fur lined coat. The secretary of the army asked to take this photograph with me. No, David. I asked Secretary Stevens to take that photo with you. Oh my god. <sighs> he's probably realizing he's a bit of a failure. He's delusional. As for Smith, he's not going to be a problem much longer. Oh no. I just do. No. They better not have Leonard's record. Mr. Cohn? Senator McCarthy's asking for me. How long were you standing there? Long enough to see you. They should actually all stick together and work together. Like, they're all gay, so... Leonard was arrested for some sordid business, and they'll expose it if I don't resign. Mm. A rumor I can't take it seriously. Oh no. It's been. <laughs> Sit down. It's not a lie. I need to tell you something. He was caught in the public restroom servicing another man. That's enough. <laughs> Servicing another man. It sounds so appropriate. <laughs> like you're servicing a car, you know? Well, you know what he was servicing. <laughs> he was servicing a body part. Polishing his chrome. <laughs> do we locate the record and have it destroyed? Sir, I will do everything in my power to bury this, but... but it's so crazy. It like, they essentially just found out that, he's gay. that his son is gay, or like, her brother is gay. This comes out instead of like just going to him and like talk about it no oh, but he's just he just said it if this comes out i'm ruined so he's worried about his career as a senator wow what do you there want to do places that help men like him no how can he say that so thoroughly disgusts me girl you need to calm down it's like eating a mumu just the other way around <laughs> no he needs to I just one of nature's mistakes. Oh, he's just playing it. Come on. Now. Yeah, but oh, it's just so bad. I know, I know, I know. Listening to it is hard because he's the one on his knees. Anyway. I hope Lucy's going to support her brother. Madrid. I met two gentlemen at the Prado. Prado or Prado? At some point, one of them allowed his hand to rest on the hand of his friend. <gasps> must have been staring because he quickly pulled his hand away mm. and I remembered that I'd seen that look before he is very good at the game he's playing now mm -hmm. are you about to cry wow uh oh Thank you for the package, by the way. Interesting materials. That 
snake. Uh, somebody left it on my desk. Oh, kid. <laughs> You're a terrible liar. You should work on that. Creepy and cringy but at the same time. That's way. why he's where he's at. You know, he's so successful because he knows how to play the game. Why are you here? It's not a great day to break the rules. Listen, I have a meeting. What was in that envelope? The one you gave me at Christmas. Roy thanked me for it. She have some chocolates, okay? My secretary brought them. She's <laughs> have some chocolates. I said someone left it on my desk. That's not plausible, is it? Why would he put it on your desk when Shine's office is ten steps away? I guess I don't lie as easily as you do. <sighs> oh, you shouldn't prepare yeah. you know, for this situation. Yeah, yeah. It's funny. The code says more or less the same thing. Damn. Damn, this is getting spicy. <laughs> no, the shame. Uh -oh. That. Frankie, I can't go back there. So you're not gonna go out? Not gonna fall in love? I just want to be honest with you. I guess that's fair, but not a nice thing. He's just scared, I guess. He's like he wants to build that career, no? Mm. Thoughts being your son the day he showed up. He's right, huh? You took his place, and I let you do it. Okay. Okay. Was that the right thing to say? <laughs> and? Dude. At least he admits it, but. Are you gonna change something about it? I mean, maybe he should also be in that car and go to whatever <laughs> retreat they're going, because he's a cuckoo as well. This photo shows Private G. David Shine with Secretary Stevens at Fort Dix. He changed the evidence. So, I ask, why would I need to use my influence to gain special privileges for Private Shine? They doctored it. Are you in a tussle? But then can they not just ask the other person in the photo? And they could. Many of them become so skilled at camouflaging their true natures, they begin to think they're normal. So they believe they're normal men, like us. <laughs> With a combination of aversion therapy and intermittent electroconvulsive treatments. Electroconv what? Electroshocks. That is crazy. That he actually allows this to happen. I know. I've thought about telling my father about you. <sighs> why don't you tell him? I'll tell you why. Because you know he'd never believe you. He's right. <sighs> I need to be free of this thing. Mr. Smith. <sighs> they are painting you with the same brush they use on Roy and David. <sighs> what does he have on you? Mm. Men from Wisconsin don't turn on their friends. You would think a man from Wisconsin would know how to get his wife pregnant. Ooh. To knock on the doors of your superiors. I wonder if they actually had sex at all, you know? Roy did something to him. He changed it. What are you trying to do? I thought you'd want to know. So, Tim, what exactly did you want to tell me about some fucking photograph? <laughs> Poor him. Like, he just wants to be honest, right? And just think, like, he thinks he's helping him, but then... It just, it, it's, so episode five, you see how dirty it is becoming, no? Yeah, and he's, like, stuck in the middle, right? Yeah. Like, on, on either side, he's doing something wrong. Can I help you? I'd like to see Mr. Welch. 
the army's lawyer. What is he going to do? It's important. He's gonna get himself killed or something. What can I do for you? I want to cover the center. I did an excellent job covering the center for the courier. A Negro paper. I would just write it and then give it to him and be like, do you like it? What do you <laughs> think? Shall we print it? Before we question Private Shine, I would like to offer this picture. As the original unaltered piece of evidence. <gasps> Did Timmy do this? I don't know. Private Sean. This is getting explosive. I hmm. never saw this print before these hearings, sir. You had nothing to do with it. Being this is crazy. Uh, this is giving uh, Johnny Depp v. Amber Heard. I should say, Mr. Senator, that a pixie is a close relative of a fairy. Oh. Damn, this is just playing out nicely, isn't it? Wow, so I'm here for the gay kisses and the gay fun, and this We're is just... We're getting all the drama. This is crazy. Political drama. No, they're gonna... What is he gonna do? Hey. Using the same bathroom. He's doing it on purpose. Ooh. Oof. What the <gasps> fuck? God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. Dave. David is uh, over it. Tomorrow. We are not going to get through anything. You and McCarthy are facing charges. Not like you. I'm normal. <sighs> kind of heartbreaking. Well. It is very sad, but listen. Talk. He's drunk. No. I quit that. I quit my job. I'm going out. Out hunting? Take me with you. No, babes. He's having a date with Lucy. I don't want you to read about it in the papers. I'm going to ask Lucy Smith to marry me. Oh. That's all you're telling him? I mean... the power society has over them mm. because they don't take control and be like my gays my my son is gay you can do whatever you want he's my son but it's at that point in time it was yeah, so powerful like, exactly back then to be openly gay as it was he just, said like yeah. it would destroy his life yeah he probably it's wouldn't crazy. be able to get a job anywhere yeah. like or a good job at least or something you know but our democracy is under attack by those who at times preach loudest. He's going to the army? A union defined Damn. by ideals. Application? For enlistment. Damn. Huh? If we do not have good men and women seeking truth, then we do not have America. Whose funeral is that? I don't know. So huh? strive for truth. No, he's going to kill himself? Reach out to your fellow man. <gasps> Fight. Oh, what? why? What? What? Why? Oh, so it's his funeral. Why? I mean, this is just crazy. The, this is wild. 
This is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is just unreal. And she knows why he she did knows. it. She knows. He knows he why knows. he did yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I love how easily Frankie is persuaded to come back. Jet magazine. Not a huge readership, but. So what are we gonna do? Uh, stop running away when Frankie needs you. Someone waiting in it for me. I mean, striking. No. Do you like them? They're growing on me. Okay, but are you gonna run away again? That is the question. That is the question. Chief Counsel Roy Cohen has resigned from the committee. Oh no. <gasps> it better not be McCarthy. Don't open the door. He doesn't have a little spy thing. What are they called? So Cohen has resigned. Okay. Oh, it's him. Oh. Yeah, come in. No. No, what do you want? He can't say no to him. No. Right? It's the magic. It's the Hawkins magic. I'm doing four digs in two days. I'm not going to wait for you. Who do you think you are? Well, he's going to get married anyway. Like, <laughs> Unbelievable. I want to take you somewhere. Hawk. Oh. No. Where are we going? You trust me? Mm. Don't answer that. Mm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, he just broke your heart. Like, he's, he told you he, he's marrying Lucy. It's just so sad. Hawk, I'm sorry about Senator Smith. Damn, the acting is incredible. The acting is incredible. I have to get over you. <sighs> well, they are in agreement. That is good. We need to keep it together, not cry. Skippy. Uh. Oh. I don't know, where, where are the tissues? I don't know, I might as well We're here. not prepared. No. Ah, <sighs> oh, this is crazy. Why did Senator Smith shoot himself? Why did Senator Smith shoot himself? I don't know, maybe because of the disappointment that he actually failed his son. Yeah. Because maybe, he could have also just maybe resigned. Was, maybe that was part of it, but... He could have just resigned. I'm also loving the water situation. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess he didn't... He didn't want to resign. I guess he had to. Actually, before we continue, the water situation. So Matt is having a little foot bath. Is it called foot bath? <laughs> yes. Foot bath because it's very warm here. So he filled it with ice water. <laughs> so he can actually sit. That is actually in, helping. He can actually sit in front of the screen and record because it is quite warm here. 
Anyway, so Mr. Kong, Mr. Smith. Yes. So he shot himself, maybe partly because he fe- feels like he he disappointed his son, who he feels his son. Yeah, and he probably never thought that he would be in the situation, right, where they're blackmailing him, basically. Basically. Right. Either you resign. But then that opens up a chance for McCarthy to stay in power, right? But then what? What? Like so be it. Just, just you know, resign, retire. Are we gonna? Are we gonna leak? Right? And then everybody knows that your son is gay. <sighs> See, and I don't understand it because we are not from that time. But, but what does it matter for him? I guess I don't know. There, there has to be multiple layers to it, right? There has to be multiple layers to it. It's just sad that then also Lucy didn't really have a conversation with him about the brother, right? Because when she was speaking to Hawk and she was saying, like, she was, where was she in Italy or Spain or somewhere? Madrid and she or met something. this ca- couple, Barcelona, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And she realized they're, you know, they're, they're gay. But she had such a lovely time with them. Yes. Right? It didn't matter no. who they were or what, no. what they were. And then she said, like, you don't choose to live with that shame. Yeah. So it's like, okay, she she understands, like, she has sympathy, right? And she will support her brother. Yeah, I got that idea as well. I but was also free. maybe I talk to her dad and try to convince him like listen it's actually this not. is how he is yeah. like what's the big deal yeah uh listen theory what if leonard further into the future commits because he blames himself for the death of his father yeah because hawkins in last episode says something about oh i had a fair share of loss or i experienced loss and then tim asked oh how is Lucy keeping up? Yeah. So maybe Leonard is going to commit something. Because he himself even said... I mean, this already was a loss for him, right? This was because a loss he for was, him. Like, Senator Smith was like a father figure to him. Well, it's his father. No, to Hawk, I mean. Oh, that's what you mean. Right, it was a loss for, for Hawk as well. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, maybe... Maybe that's the loss he referred to last episode, but maybe it includes Leonard. We'll we'll find out, but but um, I find it so surreal. I find it so surreal that a resignation wasn't enough, right? Resign, retire, but why are you killing yourself? Mm-hmm. That, I thought, was crazy. I did not see that coming. I did not see that coming. I am shame. also... I mean, waiting. I guess the whole episode was about shame. Yeah. Right? Uh huh. Now that you're saying it, I can see it. Um, I'm still waiting for uh, McCarthy and, and Roy to really go at each other and, and eat each other. But the problem well, is, but... McCarthy doesn't know what evidence Cohn actually holds, right? He doesn't didn't know. Didn't they say at the end? What? That Cohn. Like, step down or something? Did they? Yeah. Damn, I didn't, I didn't catch that. Did they? Huh. Maybe we need to watch it. Maybe, I mean, we're going to watch it anyway because we are, re- we are editing. But uh, you also see, obviously, Shine, David Shine, is removing himself from the situation. He's like, yeah. I'm leaving. I'm going to my family to spend time with my family because I'm actually not the one on trial. <laughs> yeah. Right? It's but, like, it's you and... Uh, and McCarthy. It just really shows you who your real friends are because they are obviously in this more or less together, but he's like, actually, I'm out of here. You yeah, do, but like, you two can deal with it. But Cohn was like in this weird fantasy world where he thought they have like a special bond or something. Yes, he could turn But for Shine, I think it was always like he was just taking advantage of the situation. Advantage. He was getting his boots and his furs. This was not the first time that he said like, oh, I'm not like you, right? I'm normal, blah, blah, blah. blah. Yes. So. Yes. But can we also talk about what was her name? Jane Kerr, who is the assistant now. Hmm. She talked about him not getting her pregnant. Yes. 
Ouch. I guess she's like onto him. She, she, knows. she knows, right? Okay, babe. Let's not beat around the bush. <laughs> you and I, we know what's good. Right? He is not beating her bush, so that's, <laughs> that's the problem. <laughs> oh, this is funny. Um, and then another major move, Tim resigns. Because at the end of the day, actually, he realized... Well, he leaked the photo, then, he, the real he leaked, photo. He leaked, yeah, he, he, he leaked that information, but he realized... Because Cohn, not Cohn, McCarthy was his role model, his idol, no? Yeah. He idolized him. But he actually realized this guy will not tell the truth, or he doesn't care about the truth whatsoever. He, he just wants to be in he power. He just wants to be in power. Yeah. Anything and everything he is preaching is just... Yeah, I think the moment he threatened him and he put his hand on his throat, it was like over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then he resigned and then he enlisted himself to serve in the army. Um, which actually when that happened and and then we saw the scene where they're both now at that tower and he's like, oh, I need to get over you. Mm -hmm. You know what I was thinking? I was thinking, are we going to see some sort of time jump? You know, where we're going to see... I don't know, Tim is away for a year or two or three, and then we're going to yeah. see like a little fast forward. Yeah, maybe. Because although it is moving quite fast, it also feels like the current storyline that we've experienced in the 50s or are experiencing in the 50s is slowly fizzling out. It's coming to an, an yeah. end. Because, you know, it feels like for the last three episodes, we've been tiptoeing around the same topics. You yeah. know, it's very much, I mean, for me, it feels like we've been talking about those custom boots for the last three episodes. Yeah, it seems like that all happened within like a short period of like time, half a year or something, or, or year, maybe yeah. within a year, yeah. you know? Yeah. So it feels like this, it needs to move a little faster. Yeah. So maybe we'll see some sort of uh, uh, skip time, time jump or, or whatever you call it. Can we also talk about the fact that Timmy appears at um, Hawkins's doorstep drunk? And then Hawkins, and that's what I hate about him, the constant <laughs> gaslighting, right? He's on his way to, I'm assuming, Lucy. Yeah. And he's like, oh, I didn't want you to find out from the papers. I'm going to marry her. And it's like, um, but he would have found out from the papers if he wouldn't have shown up here. You're just telling him now to yeah, get rid of him, but you would have not told him. Yeah. Right? It's just constant. It's like, if you really would have wanted to tell him, why didn't you tell him? And he's just catching you in the act, basically. Or is it... Yeah, I mean, I was... Like, I'm not a big fan of him anyway. Right? And especially this episode was crazy, crazy. to me. Like, not only this situation. But also what he was saying to Leonard. The stuff he was saying to Leonard, like, also to Senator Smith, like, yes. about Leonard. You yes. know, like, well, I guess he's just... Uh, nature's mistake whatever mm. blah, blah, blah. i'm like crazy you are gay yourself yeah or bisexual or whatever how can you say that yeah. knowingly about someone else right yeah. and then also putting him in this dangerous situation of hospital. like admitting him to hospital or <laughs> conversion, conversion therapy yes. like how can you do that to another person it's crazy yeah. he is the one facilitating it yeah he is the one facilitating it that I thought was crazy. That scene where he talked about them, um, you know, uh, having that little moment at that campfire and said, oh, I was thinking about telling telling my dad about you. Leonard obviously knows, mm -hmm. right? He knows. Um, but then he starts breaking down and he starts crying and I was just like, wow. It just, it was just heartbreaking. There were like so many heartbreaking moments. So it's many just so sad to see, like now at the episode. end, right when they're when they're on top of the tower, and he's like, obviously, I'm going to the army. I need to get over you. Yes. Um, and he's like, well, promise me you won't write any letters, blah blah. But then, and then suddenly you you have the cut, right? And then they're in the eighties in the hospital, mm. and you see like, well, they didn't get over each other. No. Right. It's thirty years later. They're still here, but still not together. No. Right? None of them is dying. It's sad. It's heartbreaking. And who knows how many more of those stories, thousands, I'm assuming, yeah. 
that we, we will never know of, right? Because not every story is being turned into a movie or, I don't know, or a book or, yeah. or a series. But, but how many more stories like those two, you know? Because this is a very, very good example where you have you have this powerful man, right? At, at, you know, incredible trajectory, incredible career. Obviously, Hawkins, you know, he's just working his way up. He's at the State Department and... I don't know. It's just who knows how many more gay, powerful men. Oh, well, even McCarthy for all you know, you know, even McCarthy, as much as he is a villain in this show and Cone, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, they're all victims in a way, you know, yes. they can't live their true lives. They can't live their true selves. Leonard, all of them, like Marcus, the, to think, and I was actually wanting to say, to think that these two will have a happy ending in a way, right? Where they're living together. They're still together. But then the scene where the police comes, the crackdown, and Frankie helps. What's the the the, the singer called? What did, what did you say? Pristine? Prestige? Um, what was their name? But anyway, they, fa they fall. Frankie turns around, tries to help them, and... Marcus just walks away, and Frankie's like, "Marcus, I need you. Marcus, I need you." And he's just looking. But that's but that's why I said like it seems the whole episode was about shame, right? Marcus was ashamed in that moment. He didn't want to be caught. Like he just walked off. Um, Leonard, right? Senator mm. Smith being ashamed of his son. Um, Lucy was talking about shame. The only body not shame ashamed is Hawkins. Wow. Is the episode called Shame or are you making this up? No, I'm saying oh, the saying episode feels like is shame. the topic was all about shame. Oh, I see, oh, I see, I see, I see. I see. Right. Fair enough. Yes. Um heavy. You cheat up quite a lot. Yeah, I mean twice. It was the ending was just that moment when, when Hawkins lies in um timmy's lap and he says oh you need to get over me oh no uh, I, I need to get over you and then he says yes you do and then it's almost like a button right matt bomer you see the tears forming and it's like bitch <laughs> the acting is incredible mm. but i also yeah. love all of the actors like even like, even Roy, as much as I hate him, like, his face sometimes when he does, su su you know, like, like that scene in the restroom, in the men's restroom, mm -hmm. that was such a powerful, you could feel that threat that was yeah. coming from him, you know? He's like a cobra ready to bite you. <laughs> that was crazy. And then not only, but you could see how timid and scared Tim was, and then he has a similar similar experience with McCarthy in his office where it's like, yeah. bitch, there is another Kerbal ready to bite you. He was ready to, exactly. to to choke you. And he was like, I need to get out of here. But obviously a couple of other reasons. Um, yeah, but like, I think that was it, you know, like he was being threatened by twice, two people that he's working for. Yes. And Cohen and uh, Hawkins telling him you need to become better at lying. Mm -hmm. And he's like, well, that's not who I am. No. Like, I don't do that. No, then he was like, oh, Roy said some other thing. No, the acting oh. is incredible. I also like uh, Lucy. They've done, uh, what's her name? The actress. They they really picked good actors. Um, they really picked good actors for this. Mm. I really hope they're going to win some Emmys. They really deserve it. Yeah, I think they're going to be, for the next, obviously, they didn't, were not nominated this year, this year. but maybe next, next year. year. Um, right, so this was what did we say? Episode five, right? Episode five. Cool. Thanks so much for being back with us. This is definitely quite explosive. Um, but it's also good fun. But it's also quite heavy. Yes. It's quite heavy. But it's also good fun. But thank you all for being back with us. Please subscribe if you have not to not subscribe just yet. And we will see you for the next one. Take care. Bye.